This right here is a 2017 Chevrolet Cruze equipped with teen driver. No, that does not mean it comes with a teenager who is going to chauffeur you around in the car. It's a really cool new safety feature that Chevrolet has rolled out on a bunch of its new cars. I'll show it to you. First, we're gonna look at how to set up the system and the different controls you have over the car. Now we're gonna take it out on the road and get some real-time experience with this uh, new safety feature. First step is we go into our settings and right there on this first page, hit teen driver. When you get your car, you're gonna have to set up a pin to be able to access this menu. Uh, I have already set up a top secret pin. It's kind of like the parental key, so uh, don't tell your kids about that and they won't be able to change any of the restrictions you set on the car. All right, so first thing we have to do is go down here to this key registration. It tells us to place the remote we want to register in the registration pocket. This step took me a little bit to figure out. The uh, trusty old owner's manual came in more handy than the internet did on this one. Some of the cars have a designated pocket um, just a little remote sized thing inside of the center console. The cruise pocket is actually just the uh, front cup holder there. You place the key in there and since I have already registered this, uh, it's telling me that if I were to do that, it would unregister it. So I'm just gonna cancel. But anyway, that is how this whole system is activated. You register the key fob to be associated with the teen driver restrictions and teen driver system on the car. That's how it'll know to keep track of these different statistics. The actual settings. So we go in here to manage settings. First thing we can do is set an audio volume limit. If you've got any headbangers, you can pull the audio level to be max, let's say uh, 35. That sounds reasonable. We have two other features to do with the speed of the vehicle. First one is our speed limiter. Our options here are just on and off. This feature will actually take over the car and not allow it to go over 85 miles an hour. This is specifically for those speed demons who like to you know, we we'll like to see if this uh, speedometer really even needs to go up to 160. Besides the limiter, we also have a speed warning. We can set this one anywhere between 40 miles an hour all the way up to 75 miles an hour. And that is going to give us a warning over here on our display in between our dash meters real time while the teen is driving. We'll do 45. So the other major thing within this teen driver menu is this report card. It shows us max speed, distance. Um, it's going to tell you how many of those over speed warnings that uh, the driver has received, how many times the traction control and stability control um, and ABS have been activated, and then this one right here, wide open throttle. If you go uh, pedal to the metal, we're gonna know about it. So after I take this thing out on the road for a little demo, we'll have a lot more statistics on there to look at when we get back. Let's do this little demo of what this, what the teen driving experience is gonna be like. Right away, when I start up the vehicle, I've got a couple little text alerts right up the bat here on our screens. So first thing here, Right between our dash meters, it tells me that teen driver is activated and 85 miles an hour is going to be my top speed. If I go over here and I try to turn my radio on, audio, turn the volume up, oh, teen driver is activated and audio is muted until my seatbelt is fastened. No belt, no tunes. But as soon as I click my seatbelt in, Hear that? Music starts right up. You can see that my audio limiter is showing up there. 35 is still plenty. And then if I unbuckle my seatbelt, right away, music stops. These guys are good. First thing I'll do here is uh, 
get it up to speed and see what our speed warning looks like. So I set it for 45. Oh, and there we go. Vehicle over speed gave me uh, the visual alert there on my digital menu as well as uh, some audio feedback, a little ding. I'm sure you heard it. So when the alert comes up, it does allow me to hit uh, our check mark here on the steering wheel um, and dismiss it to just continue driving and still see you know what's going on on your screen up there. It's useful to get get their attention. A scenario I also see it as being pretty useful is you know your kids are only should only be taking one direct route from home to school or work or whatever it is and you know that there's no speed limits over say 45 or 55 on their way there then it's like hey yeah you really do have no business going over that. Unfortunately, there is nowhere around here that has a speed limit of 85 uh, for me to legally test out our speed limiter, uh, which is unfortunate, I know. And I'm not going to incriminate myself uh, and test it anyway and post it to the internet. Yeah. Probably just. A smart decision but as they turn back out here I will uh, goose it once and see if it registers on the uh, wide open throttle here we go No speeding, just uh, some quick acceleration. As again, I got my speed warning. I was wondering, there is, it doesn't seem like there is a warning for the acceleration, but uh, I'll see when we get back if it registered as uh, open throttle. As I'm driving back here now and sitting at stoplights, I thought it worth noting, uh, I guess this car is equipped with the start-stop feature. So I come here, I'm sitting at a stoplight, and the engine actually shuts off. I'm sitting at a stoplight, so the engine's not on right now, and I'm still sitting here waiting, because it's red light, light turn screen, foot off the foot off the brake as soon as I pull my foot off the brake then the engine starts back up and now I'm rolling again really cool super seamless doesn't mess with your driving at all it's not like I'm trying to go and the engines not on cars not ready for me uh, very smooth transition really cool all right back on the lot let's check out my report card back into settings Teen driver, top secret password, and view report card. Here we go. Max speed 63, three of those over speed warnings, and we did have our wide open throttle get registered. It said two because I, uh, I did it again on our way back, just for safe measure. This is some pretty cool technology and, in my opinion, really useful. I know the reality of that is having to buy a brand new car for your teenager to drive and that's not necessarily the route that most people go. My first car was built uh, when I was three years old, not when I was... 16 but I'll tell you this I have a three-year-old daughter now and I am pretty excited to think that this is the type of technology that will easily be in the first car that we sent her out on her own to drive in